What is the crack, lads? And welcome back to another, yet another, yes, player review. Yet another, yes, yes. Yes, okay, whatever. Now, this one is for nominating contracts, lads. So you can get a load of nominating contracts by doing the events, by unlocking stuff in the match pass, and by clearing objectives, right? You can see here that we have three five-star, we have five four-star, and eight three-star. So I can pretty much buy anyone that I want to get here. You just get them, and you can unlock them with the... Uh, nominating contract that you have so martins is probably the pick of them these players are completely maxed out you can see there martins is an exceptional player lads i've seen a lot of people ask me about him we will get to him in just a second but i can get him basically by just like obviously signing him with a nominating contract and it, it is up until the 15th of the 12th so you have time to decide whether you want to get him or not uh i think he's a very good option to get but it's going to cost you a five star nominating contract all the way down to bell handa who's in as a center forward and he is going to cost you a three star nominating contract so yeah i mean they do recycle these and they do kind of like have different ones obviously going back a couple of weeks we had rudiger who was on we had kunde who was on as a as a five star and then you also have this shared this nominating contract with the all-time greats um, and then the rest are coins only so they do kind of link them in a lot of the time you've got a lot of good players in the all-time greats these nominating contracts how you unlock these and, and get these cards are the same nominating contract so yeah moving on right we're going to start with the lowest rated player um, and work our way from left to right so we've got rodriguez left back pretty much run of the mill left back lads i would not really waste uh, a, a three star but you're not going to get much better than this for a three star you know he's got fairly solid tackling and aggression balance stamina speed acceleration low pass and dribbling very fa fairly decent card you're not going to go too far wrong with a player like that especially for a three star if you are looking at it now bell handa one of my favorite master league players of all time and look at the amount of player skills that this guy has i wish right I wish that these players had like maybe five levels you could train up because I think if you could put maybe the acceleration to like 84 on this card and bring up that offensive awareness to 84 or 85, I think you would have an unbelievable player. I just feel like at the moment his speed and acceleration let this card down a bit as a center forward. So you can't play him anywhere really apart from AMF. That is where I would play him as an AMF. And deep line forwards, lads, are kind of really underused in the game because they don't really do it. Like you're better off having a faster player in because you'll still have no real... Um, penalty for having a fast player with good dribbling stats than having a, a slow pair player with good dribbling stats so it is a pity now the one thing i do like about this guy lads is his 86 curl rating that is going to be super op if you get shots off he also has long range shooting and outside curler as well as a load of dribbling stats so i definitely would recommend him if you are looking for a really good player to get for three stars we've got crespo and fernando next crespo is just your traditional box to box yeah i would not bother either here even though he's got unwavering form i probably wouldn't bother because he doesn't oh he does have interception okay that changes my mind slightly i was just about to say he doesn't have a uh, blocker or interception i would be using this guy in a role that Goretzka kind of uses, like bringing the ball forward to a certain degree, but not expecting anything massive goals-wise out of him or setting up assists or anything like that. It would pretty much just be a nuisance for the opponent to be dealing with somebody like this as a box-to-box. -box. He does have speeding bullet, which is nice. That will improve his animations a little bit and fighting spirit. Yeah, it's a very unique card. So yeah, definitely for three stars, I've changed my mind, lads. Look at his graph there. Very, very solid across the board. The only thing letting him down is strength with, with his speed and his physical contact. But yeah, otherwise than that, a very solid card there and fernando he is a very dominant dmf as well this guy um i think he has unwavering yeah he does so yeah this would be definitely my pick for the four star in this he's got unwavering form his kick and power his jumping and his physical contact and balance are really high excellent stamina as well for a dmf and you're just going to want to sit him in the pocket lads use him as you would casemiro use him as you would makalele use him as you would busquets uh he doesn't have the passing of some of those players obviously but he does have the defensive tackling aggression and awareness that you will probably need if you are looking to dominate in the middle of the uh, middle of the pitch i mean all you really need for your dmf lads is to just be blocking passing lanes and letting the ball go to your flare players on the wing or your amf or your center midfielder that's all you need so he's got long range shooting as well you can do a couple of stunning shots yeah he's a very intriguing card and his lofted pass is quite high as well as his tight possession and ball control so yeah a decent card balkovic bal yeah i think that's his name balkovic 
Balkovec will say. Pronounce, uh, pronunciation, please, will be on to me again. Uh, I'll be getting a, a, a written warning. Unwavering form, speed, 81. Kicking power, 89. Stamina, yeah. I mean, this guy is a left back. Probably not fast enough or defensive enough for a left back. But as a left mid, not bad at all. Not bad at all. He's got pinpoint crossing and early crosser. And that's what you need if you are going to be pinging balls into the box. Now, we've also got Bayezit or Bayezit. This guy, actually, I've seen him featured quite a bit. His 85 reflexes, it's just not high enough, lads. Trust me, it's just not high enough. I'm not going to waste any more time. There's no point. You know, he's not tall enough. He doesn't have enough stats that are going to be able to, you know, overlook that 85 reflexes. Just as simple as that. You get Navas from the all-time legends or the Jan Sommer. It goes up to like 94 reflexes. Oh, lads, this is going to be this is going to be a nightmare to pronounce this guy. This guy's name. Nedish Hemi. Ne? Nedish Hemi. Nidishimi. Nidishimi. Nidishimai. Okay, we'll go with that. Lads, I do apologize. I've never heard of this guy before. Uh, or maybe I have. He looks familiar. Okay, this card is actually a bit OP, lads. You can just look here at some of the stats, right? Interception, blocker, plus one touch pass. A lot of the kind of way the meta has gone at the moment, what I've noticed from playing, is that players that don't have tight possession or ball control are really kind of like at, at, uh, at odds at the back if you put them under pressure because, you know, they're they're tempted to just control the ball from playing, you know, all the way up to V2.1 and backwards. Um, but now you need to have a centre-back that's able to play and build up. So, yeah, there definitely is room for him. He's got a nice defensive stats with 81 tackling. He's also got the good dribbling stats and nice. Uh, he's got interception and blocker and man marking and he's also got good heading ability. And he's got 80 acceleration. Yeah, fairly decent for a three star, lads. Very, very decent for a three star. And we've also got Borini. I remember this guy from before playing in Serie A. Uh, didn't he play for West Ham at one stage? I'm not. I'm nearly sure he played in the Premier League. I could be wrong. Could be mixing him up with players. But yeah, super sub, lads, is what will draw you to this card. He doesn't have unwavering form, but super sub is very, very nice. Ball control, 83. Speed, 80. Decent card. He's got very decent stats. We've also got Enor Valencia, who's in the... He's in the limelight at the moment in the World Cup. Lighting up the World Cup in his first game. Obviously, we'll see how they get on later again today. Super sub. Yeah, this card is definitely worth a three star, lads. Absolutely incredible card for three stars. He has got good jumping and aerial ability. But yeah, you're not going to be using him for that. I will be popping this guy on in the last 20 minutes. He's got the speed. He's got the finishing. He's got the physical contact. And he's got the offensive awareness and dribbling that he will be a problem for anybody. Trust me on that. We've also got Bakasetas, who is another Turkish player or a Greek player. Um, yeah, very decent player as well, lads. Not bad as an AMF. 92 kicking power, 86 set piece taken. So if you're looking for a free kick taker, definitely get him in standard form. He does have pinpoint crossing and uh, he doesn't have early crosser. And then to pick it a bunch, lads, Martins. I've been getting so many requests to, to feature Martins. This guy is a must if you have a five-star, lads. Trust me. I'm going to buy him because I'll tell you why, right? He can play any position up front. He's got no-look pass, one-touch pass, first-time shot. So as an AMF, he's going to be unbelievable. Or as an SS, he's going to be amazing. He's got 85 acceleration, 89 ball control, 85 balance. He's perfect, lads. He's an absolute perfect player. But on top of that then as well, he's got double touch, soul control, and long range curler. So you'll be able to finesse shot those balls in. He's got 19 everything as they usually have. And he's got super sub. He doesn't have unwavering form, which stops this car from being absolutely OP. But I definitely 100% am going to waste, not waste, but use a five-star nominating contract on Martins, lads. Trust me, I think he's going to be absolutely insane. I think I'm going to really enjoy playing with him when I get him into a squad. And yeah, that is it for me, lads. That's my pick of him every month. Uh, I will do this where I do kind of a pick as well. Absolutely incredible card, lads. That guy, unbelievable. Um, and yeah, the all-time greats, we've already featured that. I might... I might buy Thomas Muller as well. We will see. I might buy Muller or um, Moutinho. But we'll see. But yeah, that is it for me, lads. Don't forget to subscribe. Hope you enjoyed another review, another in-depth review. And we will talk to you later. Peace.